Hello, hello, first and foremost, giving all praises, all honor and all glory to the Holy One of Israel, whose name alone is Yahweh, by saying hallelujah, which means praise ye Yah. And it's the 12. So Proverbs 12. <clears throat> Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hateth reproof is brutish. Are there people who don't like knowledge? That when you start talking about stuff, knowledgeable things, things that you can use in life, they don't want to hear about knowledge. So whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hateth reproof is brutish. So we got a lot of brutish people that don't love knowledge. A good man obtain favor of Yahweh, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a shame is as rottenness in his bones. So it said a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a shame is as rottenness to his bone. What did that really mean? What it says to me though, Abraham, when he left his mother and father, he became one with his wife. So he combined, combined forces combined with his wife. So if he, your wife can either it be a crown to you, or she, she can bring you up or she can bring you down. That's what a woman can do to you. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. And when the wicked people counsel you, they're deceiving you. You know, they don't tell you to do the right thing. That's going to stay in the air. No, nah, nah, you good, man. Right away. Okay. I'm just mainly hitting touch points like Dory Hammer. Okay. All right. Okay. So, once again. Number five, Proverbs 12, the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsel of wicked are deceit. And we know how our wicked friends counsel us. As a man, I know, if I, you know, I got certain righteous friends that when I talk about women, they say one thing, you know, oh, you should do this or do that with her. But of course, my wicked friends would say, well, you do this and that with her, you know, uh, let's continue though. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The lip, the wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. So a man, a man shall shall be commended according to his fear of the Almighty. And I know earlier somebody wanted me to lie to them. I just let them know I'm not about to, I'm about to lie to you. You want to say, well, you know, say that you're very passionate. I, I'm not going to lie to you. 
Let's continue though. I may be a little scattered. He that is despised and have a servant is better than he that is honored that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. And a lot of people honor themselves. That's why they're so prideful. They think they already know everything. They gotta win the argument. They uplift it. So he that is despised and have a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lack of bread. And we got a lot of people honoring themselves. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. And he that followeth a vain person is void of understanding. Because what is understanding? Understanding is, is to avoid evil. Understanding is an action word. It's not the same as wisdom. Because it's applying wisdom. It's understanding. Let's continue. Though. The wicked desire the net of evil man. But the root of the righteous yielded fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. And that's one thing people don't realize is they make verbal contracts with the things that they say. It says so many scriptures telling you not to open wide your lips, you know, but the wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. He's snared by the violence that comes out of it. You know, the wicked are as not as there's no peace with the wicked. It comes peace comes with righteousness. So the wicked, you can understand the transgression of his lips is violence. And, and it does not end up well. A man shall be satisfied with the with good by the fruit of his mouth. And the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. Yeah, so he shall be satisfied with the with good by the fruit of his mouth. And I'm hoping that uh, giving these Proverbs is some fruit and I get a recompense. <laughs> this this one's very important. I love this one. I mean, where's my... The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkened unto counsel is wise. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. He won't even consider what somebody else has to say. Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearkened unto counsel is wise. What does that mean? We got one type of person that just know they right, don't want to hear what nobody else got to say. But then we have that other person who is not uplifted, is not prideful, and he's willing to listen and hearken unto someone trying to counsel him about the matter. Verse 16. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covers shame. This is important. When you are a fool, then people automatically know when you're upset, when you're angry, when somebody, they can see it in your face. They may see it in your actions. They may see it in the way you move around. The way the, a fool's wrath is known at that moment. You know this motherfucker, you know he don't have no control. That's a fool. But a prudent man, he covers it. He, you, don't, you won't be able to see it. You may, you may have offended him, but he's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to see it. He's gonna be able to control himself. He's gonna be able to think about the next, the best thing to do and not act a fool. He that speaketh truth show forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. And there's many different false witnesses it's evil to be a false witness. That is one of the commandments 
not to be a false witness and lie. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is hell. So, you know, as, as just like life and death is in the power of the tongue, the way you affect people can be like a sword or it can be like a healing ointment. It can be healing. It can be health. So this, the proverb talks about how you how when you talk and it can affect you. But right here, because I mean, it, it talks, but it, right here is talking about how your words affect other people. Verse 19, the lips of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. And that's a thousand percent true. We see the lips of truth shall be established forever. This, these, these words right here are established. They're grounded, they're rooted. But somebody lying, they can't even keep that consistent lie. They can't keep it going. It, it, it blows away in the wind. What, what truth is truth is going to stand. But the lion tongue has no foundation. And when questioned, it can be erased. That's why a lion tongue is just for a moment. The seat is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But to the counsel of peace, there is joy. There is no evil happen to the just. Well, let me read that again. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. And if you desire righteousness, then you're going to be in situations where it's going to be peaceful. You're not going to be lying to each other. You're not going to be tail bearing to the people. Your relationships, you're going to love your brother. Your relationships... And the way you interact with people, they say there, there shall, shall no evil happen to the just. He has a good name. But, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief because the wicked is no peace for the wicked. They lying. They telling all your business being tail bears. They want to commit adultery. There's no peace for the wicked. Let's continue. Lying lips are an abomination to Yahweh, but they that deal truly are his delight. Lying lips are an abomination to Yahweh. How, how, how can somebody even trust what you're saying if you're lying to them? How can the nation be a nation of people if we can't trust what's, go, what's out, go coming out of each other's mouth? A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of the fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. And that's important. You must be diligent. You cannot be lazy. The slothful. One thing uh, one of my uh, college professors taught me is the easiest thing in the world to do is become poor. Because all you have to do is just stop doing everything. Just stop doing it. And you will become poor. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop. But, good, but a good word maketh it glad. So it's good to give a good word to those. Make sure you have, get a good word to people. Who have heaviness in the heart. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. Hmm. Don't get seduced. And I, and I really believe it's just a wicked country because when I think about this proverb, because the way of the wicked seduces him. But, you know, you want to kind of be like the masses. You want to be like everybody else and doing all that bullshit they do. Um, let's continue. 
The slothful man roasts not what he took in hunting, but the substance of the diligent man is precious. The way of the righteous is life, and the path thereof there is no death. Um, that's the end of uh, Proverbs 12. I really don't do this for nobody. Um, but once again, this has nothing to do with me. Just on here talking. I'm giving all praises, all honor, all glory, all majesty, all thanks to the only one that deserve it. The Holy One of Israel, the King, on this great Sabbath day, by saying hallelujah. <laughs>